Good evening, everybody. I'm Ron Blessinger, Executive Director of 45th Parallel Universe. It's my pleasure to welcome you to tonight's performance of Fridays with 45th Parallel, our weekly series of shows that continues to keep the flame going for music during these calamitous times. Tonight's performance is coming to you from Glass Lab, our wonderful, generous, and civic-minded partners who are allowing us to be in this space to continue bringing you these shows. Tonight's performance is really, really awesome. It features the music of Beethoven, Florence Price, and Randy Wolf, accompanying animation by Stephen Malinowski, Zach Margolis, and the brilliant Ladislav Starovich. We also have a very special guest appearance that will happen during the show, a very dear friend who is going to tell you a little bit about how awesome our new website is. So, on with the show. We start with Beethoven's Opus 18 number 1, the first movement accompanying brilliant animation by Stephen Malinowski. Enjoy.
Hi, this is Ronnie. I'm incredibly excited about 45th Parallel's new website, as dynamic as its innovative musical programs. Not only is it artistically attractive, but also it opens with a burst of energy, showing some of the musicians in action playing their instruments. There's an easy-to-find introduction to all the ensembles and the artists in the collective, and a rich library of links to videos of past performances. You can watch any of them on demand. There's information about upcoming shows that's easy to find, very inviting, and terrific artwork. Who would have guessed that a website would be so much fun to visit? Hello, uh, my name is Zach Margolis. I created the images for Andante Moderato. Uh, they asked me to do an intro here, so I'll try to be brief uh, without spoiling anything. Um, it, this was a really exciting project to work on. Uh, it, it's just interesting to think about uh, this music that was written, I don't know, 100 or so years ago and how it's being recontextualized today. And I think, um, in general, I really like uh, what happens when uh, images and music come together. I feel like there's a, a symbiotic relationship uh, there where they both kind of add to each other um, and become something new, a new thing. Um, so it was really a, um, a lot of fun for me to work on this project. Uh, I'm... I, I feel like the result is, uh, I'm, I'm proud of the result, and I think that's the end of my intro. Um, I hope you enjoy it.
Hi everyone. There are a few thank yous that are definitely in order. First of all, to Glass Lab and SQB for allowing us to be in this room. To my colleagues in the string quartet, Greg, Marilyn, and Charles for their brilliant artistry. To Dave Hertz, our audio engineer, and to Danny Rosenberg, without whom this program simply wouldn't be possible. I also want to thank Stephen Malinowski and Zach Margolis for their brilliant animated work and sharing their talents with us tonight. And I want to thank you for sustaining us and supporting us through these, uh, these months that we've been, um, we've been challenged to bring music to you, but nevertheless, we are steadfast in our commitment to do so. 
Donations can be made by following links that are on YouTube and Facebook sites. We also have Patreon memberships that are available and our friends on Patreon are invited to join us for post-concert Q&A sessions, which are a lot of fun and a chance to connect with artists and other fans. So we have one more piece on the show and it's my great pleasure to introduce to you Randy Wolf, the composer of the soundtrack for Ladislav Starovich's masterpiece, The Cameraman's Revenge. Be safe everybody and have a lovely evening. Hi, I'm Randy Wolf, and I wrote the next piece, which is called Revenge, a setting of the film A Cameraman's Revenge by Ladislaw Starovich. Starovich was the second person to make stop-motion animation back in 1912, and he used insects and frogs and the like as the cast for his films and posed them with little wires and things. It's really very funny and a very clever thing to have done back in 1912. Ron Blessinger sent me this film years ago, asking me to make a new score for it. And I thought string quartet plus turntables and drum beats would be the perfect setting. If you're not familiar how people use turntables to make music, here are a few examples. I took a famous folk singer and decided to make her the voice of the female grasshopper. So I place her sounds on the turntable. It can speed them up and slow them down and manipulate them. Here's a sound for a more beautiful scene that I use some 20th century orchestral music and combine them. Here's an example of the kind of beats I make with the drum machine. Another one. Turntables making those sort of insect groan sounds there. Thank you very much for attending, and, and I hope you enjoy this piece. I present to you The Cameraman's Revenge, a.k.a. Revenge. Thank you.
Thank you.